Hello and good evening, this is Ruth Pozuelo from Curable.com and uh, today I want to show you how to do sentiment analysis in other languages than English with Power BI. On the previous video I have shown you how to do sentiment analysis with uh, Power BI and Twitter, but I got a question uh, from somebody that would like to do sentiment analysis in other languages that are not English or Spanish, that, that is what Microsoft is offering in the service I demonstrated here in this video. So I gave it a little bit of thought and I am going to show you a way to do that. Perhaps not the cleanest, but it definitely works. As you can see here, this is uh, Microsoft, uh, now it's called Cognitive Services, and uh, this is the service that we was, were using on our example, text, text Analytics API. And if we scroll down here, you can see which languages it supports, it's uh, English and Spanish, and nothing else. So if you want to do sentiment analysis on Swedish or uh, any other language, you, you won't be able to do it unless, and here's the trick I'm going to show you, you translate the text using Google Translate API first, and then you send the translated text to um, the service to do the sentiment analysis. I am going to demonstrate how it works in the video and then you decide if it's good enough for you or not. So let's, uh, let's begin. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. I've uh, went to IKEA website, um, Facebook page, and uh, look at some uh, posts they had and pick up the comments that they left. So this is, uh, they presented the chair. This is IKEA Sweden. So the comments are in Swedish. There are a few comments. So I have imported these comments into Power BI. So here we have the comments. Uh, I imported only seven, just for the example is uh, good enough. And what I have here is the function that um, uses the text analytics service. And this is a function that calls in Google Analytics Translate service. Okay. So the same procedure as we had with the Twitter, we are going to use these services with our text. And for that, uh, we are going to use this invoke custom function. This is uh, something that was added, I think, in October update, perhaps. So we click on here and we say that we want to use first, we want to translate the text, right? So this is what we're going to do. Okay. And then we span the translated text. Let's see what it says. Uh, Mary is saying, hi, I've tried to buy, I guess, the chair and uh, have not succeeded because they always send. That means, I think, because they don't have it in stock exactly and uh, when do you expect them to get in? The next one is IKEA answering. Uh, hello, it was fun to... that you want out of... Oh. That's not correct at all. It is... Uh, you say and it's fun that you are interested in our assortment. Here is saying something else. What I can see is the chair is out in our stores. Great if you can return with which store you would like to visit and we can check if they have this the chair. Here somebody is uh, saying uh, that they, the chairs are very nice just because they misspelled the nice the Google Translate couldn't pick up the word. Let's see what it will do. Uh, somebody is upset with the advertising on TV. This is bad for old people. 
gorgeous chair and would like to have. Okay, so now we have translated the text. Let's see what when we call in the sensitive text analytics service, what it will do. So we have it here, we call it. And as usual, we will get a score. Let's change that name to score. Or And let's add the text, right? Because then the numbers are just not user friendly. So we're saying if the score is less than 0 0.5 is negative, uh, less than 0 0.7 neutral, and otherwise is positive. So here we have the first one. It was the lady that couldn't find the chair. It's a negative, which it is. Then we have IKEA with a positive tone, of course, answering. Here we have the guys that thought that the chairs were so nice. Uh, could not uh, translate the nice word, so it got a neutral. Okay, fair enough. When are you going to put... Oh, this is the guy that is pissed off with the advertising, uh, got a neutral. And here we have bad for old people, negative, cool. This is definitely positive and this is uh, would like to have but I have no place. I don't know if it's negative. I would say it's more neutral than negative. But, but you get an idea of what you actually can achieve by translating. Perhaps this is better than nothing. So I think you should uh, give it a try with your own data and see how that works. So I will not go through how to um, use the Google uh, Translate API because it's like very straightforward. I will though post a link here where you have a quick start and the guides and the API. It is like really, really simple. So don't worry, you will be able to, to manage to call the service the same way as I did. So try it out and let me know if it works for you. I'm, I was positively surprised that it worked that well when you were translating. Okay, so this is all for today. If you like the video, please let me know by liking it. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, let me know in the comment box or any of the social channels listed below. And uh, subscribe, I publish Power BI videos every week. Have a great evening. Bye.